Uh, do you want to just talk about uh, who the band is and how you guys got started? We are the Long Black Veils. We are actually from Selma, California. The band members, everybody in the band, we've been in bands, in and out of garage bands, bands that failed, never went anywhere. Um, then when my best friend passed away, who was like the biggest audiophile, loved music, you know, I started writing songs. You know, my whole concept of how music and, and writing songs went out the window and I started going along with what, you know, me and him were interested in and it grew from there. And our sound is, is very odd. Um, I was going to ask you because on your, I was looking at your Facebook page and it says um, unclassified or something like that. And I know bands don't like to put themselves in a box, but if you want to tell people what yeah. it's like. Well, that's what it is. It's unclassifiable. I mean, I got that. I don't know where I got that idea from. I got it from another band that we like, but you know, when I write songs, this is how it works. I write songs of the melody, the chords, basically the structure in my head, and and I bring it to the guys, and then we kind of work it out a little bit there in the band room, and then we get eventually around to recording it. It ranges from country two step, you know, some old classic country, Hank Williams, Johnny Cash, uh, Willie Nelson, you know. Um, Hank Williams Sr., not Junior Sr. <laughs> uh, then it goes into like a soft acoustic thing. Uh, we got the flute, the acoustic. Uh, uh, you know, there's Springsteen thrown in there. Like I said, there's some Beatles thrown in there. It, it's hard to put, you know, we're big fans of Wilco. What's it like gigging in the Valley? I mean, is this something that you and the band members want to make a full-time thing? Or are you happy just doing it in your spare time? No, we'd love to do it full time. You ask any musician, they'd love to do it full time. Yeah. <laughs> but we have great time here in the valley. Uh, I wish this, it wasn't sprawled. It was just that main section where everybody is at. And towers like that. That's what's great about the tower district. Yeah. You know, people are jumping from place to place to place to place. Yeah. And when we're all playing. Um, we love to do it full time. I love to do it full time. Uh, reality is, you know, we're not in our 20s anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't just jump in a van and go and I have no responsibilities. I have no kids, but my bass player's got four kids and, mm -hmm. you know, we get together, you know, but we're very, we're very hard working and very to the, to the T, you know, mm -hmm. no one misses rehearsal for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, we all put, we all put the dedication in. You know, we have, we have a good time in Fresno and then we just, there's a lot of great bands and a lot of music coming out of here. And, um, with the addition of this place, Fault 55, we, I got to see my hair's dinosaur junior, <laughs> right where you're sitting, standing right here. <laughs> Jay Maskus was playing guitar, and I was standing right there. And then, you know, a month later, we were standing in the same place. What is your What is your live performance like? If you could describe it for somebody who hasn't come to one before. It's very. Sometimes it's very quiet and acousticy. It's very. It starts off that way, mm -hmm. and then it just turns into high energy. And like I said before, if you've ever listened to anybody's a fan of Bruce Springsteen and seen his live shows, you know, we have a song at the end we, we, we end with called Darkness, which is off the new album called In the Dark. And uh, that's the whole purpose of that. The big blowout, you know, mm -hmm. I'm jumping in the crowd, everybody's passing my guitar around, it's fun, it's a good time. Cool. Glad. I'm always glad it came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys have the new album out. What's what's ahead in 2015? 2015, we have the new album out. It's called In the Dark. It's available anywhere you get music online. Mm -hmm. We're playing a show here at the Fault 55 on January 29th with Lazare, another Fresno band. Check them out. <laughs> uh, we, you know, like I was saying earlier, we're coming to the reality. You know, we, we do stretch our hands out up and down California, but not too far, and money gets tight, and yeah. family gets tight. We're pushing that we can go farther. Um, we have already have a third album in the rehearsal room now. Okay. We got tired of playing the songs off the new album, so we're actually rehearsing that one, and hopefully we'll start recording it within the next couple months here. Um, you going to test any of those songs out on matter, the January 29th As show? a matter of fact, yeah, we will actually. Okay. Um, well, they're, they're very rough still, but it's just kind of helps us keep our heads straight. Yeah. You know, because we've been playing the last the, the last two albums for probably two years mm -hmm. on top of the, you know, 100 other songs that we haven't touched yet. The reason I heard about you guys is I was listening to New Rock and heard you on Homegrown. Um, and to me, when I heard your song, I think it was the Win You Over. Mm -hmm. Your voice sounds like Leonard Cohen. Do you ever get that? You know, I get Leonard Cohen. I get Johnny Cash a lot of times. Um, I get, yeah, Johnny Cash, Leonard Cohen. And it got kind of 
aggravating for a minute because it was like they're Johnny Cash cover band. And I'm like, because when we do a Johnny Cash song, I don't sing that deep. Mm-hmm. But yeah, <laughs> Leonard Cohen, and it's great to be put in their their realms, and you know, uh, I hear that, and you know, but like I said, how I like to listen to music, I want to continue to push forward. Mm-hmm.